Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at more Am I Wrong stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. So I'm a twin. My brother and I hang out all the time and we are super close. In a few days, it's our 25th birthday. We share the same friend group and we're all really close and have been since school. He has a close group of girlfriends, about five of them, who I have also known for many years. I would class them as being closer with him in recent years, but we are all still good friends and socialize often together. Now, I have been added to a group chat labeled my brother's name, Surprise Dinner. It is a surprise birthday dinner for my twin brother organized by one of the girls in that group and they have invited me as a guest. One of them also said in the group that it would be nice to see me as well. So I just felt like an afterthought. I wouldn't really have minded if the girls wanted to organize a surprise party evenly exclusive from my brother and themselves, but they have also invited my partner and some of my brother and I's closest friends. This feels inconsiderate and quite upsetting as I can't understand why I would be invited to my literal twin brother's surprise birthday dinner with me only invited as a guest, as it is also my birthday involving all of our friends. My girlfriend also found this action to be extremely rude and wondered why this girl didn't just reach out to her and then they could have organized a surprise involving both of us instead or have just both my brother and I and left the surprise element out of it. In the chat, it is clearly stated that we all arrive at one time while my brother is due to arrive 20 minutes later. The thought of attending makes me feel weird because it's just a celebration for his birthday when him and I are literally born on the same day. This isn't new information to the organizer. Of course it isn't. They're twins. Like how can you forget that one twin also has the same birthday as his twin? And because we have the same friends, last year our friends and my girlfriend set up a massive dinner for our birthday to which everyone was invited including the girl group. So now I'm at a crossroads. I don't know whether or not to attend. On one hand, if I don't go, I will feel left out because our mutual friends are going. But on the other hand, if I do go, I will feel like I am letting myself be disrespected and I will likely feel uncomfortable as it feels like only my brother is being celebrated. So would I be wrong if I took a stand and didn't go? Dang, that's mean. Like the girls organizing everything while knowing that the person they're organizing the birthday for has a twin and then invites the twin as a guest when it's literally his birthday too. So what? What about the cake? Is the cake only going to be for the one brother? <gasps> that is rude. Yeah, that's extremely rude to be honest. And it's the fact that they're all close friends. So it just feels weird. It's like, what? Are you that dumb? Do you not remember that twins share the same birthday or something? It's just odd that they're celebrating one twin's birthday instead of just surprising both of them at the same time. Like, surely the girls can't be that dumb, right? Like, what if this is a surprise party for the both of them, but they're playing it off as like, oh, I don't remember your birthday kind of thing. Dude, I hate those surprise pranks though. It's always the worst when someone literally forgets that person's birthday for the whole day and then at night they're like surprise it's like really you hurt their feelings before all that you hurt their feelings for the entire day and then you're gonna be like just a joke we actually remembered but we just wanted to surprise you i don't like that though imagine if it was that that they're surprising both the twins but the one twin just gets the feelings hurt first <laughs> Jeez. Honestly, if that wasn't the case, then I would just not go. I mean, if that was me, I would spend time with a brother in the morning and just do our own thing and celebrate our birthdays together. And then I would do something for myself in the end with my partner. <sighs> because honestly, I feel like if they do go, they're just going to feel left out. If everything is surrounded for the brother, you know, like presents as well, they're probably only going to buy presents for the brother because it's his birthday. Hmm, I don't feel good about this. All right, moving on. My friend Jack and I, after a long stressful week, like to go to the local pizza place. It's not fine dining by any stretch of the imagination, but they are booths and tables of people sitting down. I see a large table near us of like 10 people and a few couples and a bunch of small kids between four and eight. And the kids are running around the restaurant being loud while the adults are drinking wine and eating the pizza. I ignore the commotion for like 20 minutes when suddenly I feel like a hand on my leg and one of the little kids is crawling under Jack at my table. I wasn't thinking and snapped at the kid and said get away from our table and the kid ran away and burst into tears. One of the parents at the other table came over and started tearing into me about how cranky and mean I was and how day I yell at her kid who was just playing. Meanwhile, her and her other middle-aged 40-something parents are letting the kids run around and be loud and obnoxious while my friend and I are trying to enjoy a night out. 
I ripped her a new one and said, how entitled do you need to be to think it's okay to let your kids just crawl under people's tables? She called me an asshole and walked away in a huff. Honestly, anything to do with kids running around and kids being loud and crazy in public is the parent's fault. All right, if someone tells the kid off, it's the parent's fault for not watching them. If the kid falls over and does something, it's the parent's fault for not watching them. How dare you yell at my kid? Looks like we know who's not a good parent. Like seriously, if you can't watch your kids in a public place, don't bring them out or don't go out. Like outside in public, it's not home, okay? You can't just do anything that you want to do. Seriously, these kids need to learn and behave. Like I was not like this as a kid. I was not allowed to run around and do whatever I wanted as a kid. Dude, my parents would whoop me, man. <laughs> Like, that's just not right. You let your kids run around and, dude, once they go missing, you're gonna be crying. Oh, jeez. Yesterday was my nephew's first birthday and my sister and brother-in-law had a little get-together at the house. When it was time for cake, they brought out my nephew's smash cake. Exactly what it sounds. A cake for the baby to smash up and get icing all over themselves for cute pictures or whatever. I kind of imagined that it would be the size of a big cupcake but they just brought out a regular sized round birthday cake. I just kind of figured they splurged and still expected the cake to be just for him to play around with. But after my nephew had gone at this cake with his bare hands and stuck his whole face in it, my sister started scooping up the mangled remains and distributing servings to everyone, just a handful of family members, and everyone else was actually eating it. I declined because seriously, I didn't want to eat something that has had a baby's grubby hands and body all over it. And I was surprised that anyone else did. My sister insisted I take a portion and I said, really? No, that's gross. Now, I probably wouldn't have used the word gross if it wasn't on the spot, but I was not at all prepared to have to politely decline to eat baby spit. My sister was very hurt by that and told me later on a phone call that I thought was way longer than it needed to be for the severity of the infraction, that she thought I was being extremely judgmental, that it wasn't a big deal and we're all family. Don't participate if I really don't want to, but don't call her gross, etc. Oh, I don't think they call the baby gross, they just called it gross to eat something that a baby has smashed with the bare hands, that's all. Honestly, I wouldn't want to eat it either. Like after all the germ craze and COVID and everything, dude, I feel like I've just become such a cleaner person. They don't have to eat it. Like why do you have to force someone to eat something? Like if someone declines, oh no, I don't want to eat the cake, then they don't have to eat the cake. Why do you have to force someone to eat something? I don't get it. So obviously they're not wrong for anything because you don't have to eat anything you don't want to eat. And I agree with this person because that is gross. Like, dude, baby's hands go everywhere, okay? You never know where they put their hands and they're smashing it and they're spitting on the cake and it's all over their face and everything. Yeah, nobody wants to eat that, bro. Why didn't they just get like a small cake for the baby and then get an actual cake for the adults? Right, like I'm pretty sure smash cakes are just for the babies to smash and then the baby eats that cake and then everyone else eats the adult cake. I got my period in class. We weren't doing anything important, so I asked to leave for the restroom. For context, this teacher is known for being very irritable. He refused, so I told him I had a genuine need to go, but he mocked me, saying, oh, so you have to go in front of the class. I asked again calmly, and he said again, no. At this point, the room was silent, so I got stressed under the pressure. I was being laughed at, and I snapped, well, would you rather I bled all over your white chair? He was visibly angry, but let me go. When I got back to class, he seemed annoyed still, so I'm not sure if I overreacted. Bro, I hate teachers like that. If someone asks you that they need to go to the toilet, just let them go. Like, they're not missing out on much of the lesson anyway, because you ain't teaching anything. <laughs> Honestly, most of the teachers, when they don't let the student go, they're not even doing anything important. Oh my gosh. They're always just like, well, you should have went during lunchtime or recess. Well, they didn't need to go that time. You know, bladders are freaking weird. That's why. And this person's on their period. I just feel like if it's a girl asking to go to the toilet, right? And they give you that look, right? You should know. <laughs> that they need to freaking go. It's honestly so weird how schools do this though. Like allow teachers to not let the students go to the bathroom. Like, dude. What? It, it doesn't even matter to you bro. Just let them go. 
Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.